Fab Labs have been doubling every year and a half. We call that Lass's Law after Sherry Lassiter because she first noticed it. And that means in the next decade or so, we're going to go from a thousand Fab Labs to a million Fab Labs. A million. Yep. That's right. And in the next decade, we're going to go to a billion, and then we're going to go to a trillion. And that may sound crazy, but it's just like when Gordon Moore first projected the growth of computing, he predicted a decade of integrated circuits getting better. And so they went from mainframes to mini computers filling a room to personal computers on a desktop, mm -hmm. to smartphones in your pocket, to eventually Internet of Things in everything. And so in the same way, a billion fab labs isn't what we see here today, mm -hmm. but a billion fab labs is the capability of what we see here today. A thousand fab labs, what's interesting about that number is that's roughly the number of cities on Earth. Mm -hmm. So it means today there's roughly one fab lab per city. A million... What's interesting is that's the number of local jurisdictions, towns and villages. And so sort of this next factor is one of these in every single town and village. But to get there, you can't have the same ship two tons of stuff. And so it's leading to this very, very interesting technology transition. One to a thousand will take the same time as a thousand to a million. Talking about lasers and talking about Trotec, um, it has a few really interesting implications. So uh, we, we've had a great relationship with Trotec. The vendors we work with in Fab Labs are very carefully curated because we need machines with great performance at reasonable prices, with open architectures, with good support. And so we've had a great collaboration with Trotec on that. And um, often when I explain Fab Labs, people are surprised to hear in many ways, the least useful tool in a fab lab is the 3D printer. And by far the most popular tool in a fab lab is the laser cutter. Mm -hmm. um, the 3D printer has a role, but it's sort of like the role of the microwave in the kitchen of the future. The workhorse in a fab lab is the laser cutter. You can use it for engraving, but like the things we're on, you know, all of this took a, took, a, took a few minutes to plot out. The ability to quickly plot out parts to assemble 3D structures makes the laser the most popular tool in the fab lab. Hi, my name is Marc Olivier Ducharme. I'm Fab Manager at the Museum of Ingenuity GR Bombardier, and I'm also with Fab Labs Nation. So we went on a tour of Canada, 19,000 kilometers, and we travel with a trotic laser and some other equipment, 3D printers, vinyl cutter as well. And the idea was to visit as many labs as possible in Canada and to infrastructure them in a great network. <laughs> 